Next on our list to discuss from Case New Holland is the 22 series corn head, or this is their row unit for it. This corn head is not offered anymore, but we want to talk about it because there are a lot of used ones out there that, that compete against maybe a used Drago. Let's uh, first start with hydraulic deck plates. Remember, hydraulic deck plates, somebody must make that decision. The next thing on these deck plates is really the beveled edge again, as we saw and see on some other ones. They have a funnel area here that allows corn to funnel out of the row unit down between the knife rollers. Next, of course, let's look at the chain system. Very basic chain system. Uh, no poly chain guides like you find on the Drago. It's just metal on metal. A chain idler on the bottom. Believe me, a very disposable product. I think a lot of us farmers have been through many of them in our history. Small chain, not real aggressive. Chain tensioning system is an open pipe and spring that we saw for decades on the older John Deere's and continue today. Again, this system here simply fills up with dirt and debris and pretty soon you don't have proper chain tension. Let's take a look at the knife roller system on this 2200 series corn head. This is a overlapping intermeshing knife roller system. Similar to the old John Deere fluted roller, but it does have a knife roller. This caused a lot of problems for this corn head because when you have intermeshing knife rollers, there's no way the corn can move back while it's being pulled down. This corn head had a two-speed gearbox. Would have to run it on the high speed to get any kind of corn harvesting done. That create a tremendous amount of shelling with this corn head when you get into those dry, shelly conditions. Again, I'm not saying that this corn head can harvest corn. Of course it can. It's harvested many, many acres. It's been many of these heads have been sold. It just as we move into drier corn technology that we all want as farmers, this head does not offer the ability to save the grain. The technology is designed around corn that was wet and hard to shell. Things have changed. Corn heads need to change. That's why you need to have a draggle. Let's take a look at the 2600 series row unit that Case New Holland brought in from Europe. Actually, this uh, row unit uh, was built and designed in Poland. Uh, they brought it into the U.S. market to provide their dealers a chopping corn head. Let's first look at the deck plates. Deck plates are a typical hydraulic deck plate. That means only one side moves. That means you're never centered over the roller. You're always pulling corn down at an angle. The operator must make that adjustment as he goes across the field from his good corn to his poor corn. Again, with hydraulic deck plates, you have a pivot point here and here and underneath where all the rows plug into the same bar that is moving all the row units. All these pivot points over years and where develop slop. And when you start to adjust, you're adjusting with a sloppy system. Also, you notice as I try to put a, a kernel of corn on the deck plate here, that, that the beveled edge that many people put on to uh, kind of uh, reduce the amount of trash brought in by the row unit, that the beveled edge versus the rounded edge on the Drago, the beveled edge actually creates a slope for that kernel to actually exit the row unit. Same way on top. They have created a nice V, a nice funnel effect to, to allow corn to flow down through the knife rollers and also they have these, these slots cut out whereas the corn is trying to be brought up the deck plates by the gathering chain and other material it runs into a little cavity that the corn can drop into, fall into the knife roller, and be thrown on the ground. All this adds to shelling loss. 
We've seen many other companies, including this company, try to use like a poly idler for the gathering chains. I personally have talked to farmers that in down corn, they've gone through 30 of these on a corn head in one season. My original Drago, which is 11 years old, many acres of good standing corn, many acres of down corn, still has the original sprockets and bearings in it. This has not proven to be a durable idea. Next on the gathering chain system, let's look at their tightening system. Remember, the Drago has a system that's greasable. When you grease it, you fill that cavity full of grease so there's no place for dirt and debris to go. Here, they have allowed a opening at the top of the pipe that holds the spring that allows dirt to migrate down in and fill the spring up, which will restrict chain movement. Let's roll this row unit over so we can look at the knife roller system on it. Now, looking at their knife roller, let's compare it to the Drago. Remember, the Drago is 22 and a half inches of knife roller. This is shorter, which means it must turn faster to process the same amount of corn. It runs a very large diameter knife roller, which means the tip speed has more velocity. The higher the velocity of the outside tip, the faster the corn must come down. The chopping system on this row unit risk yield. This blade is turning at 200 miles an hour. Their stock roller is pulling the stock down at say 13 and a half to 14, 15 miles an hour. As the ear approaches the deck plate, they're, where they're chopping, because again, they're chopping in the front part of the row unit, right up here, before the ear is harvested. So, there's windows on this opening here that when the knife to knife roller lets go of the stock, it allows the stock to move back, but while it lets go of it, the blade swings across and hits the stock going 200 miles an hour. When that happens, just as the ear is approaching the deck plate, you transfer 200 mile an hour horsepower to the butt of the ear. With this head, you'll see the normal shelling of a corn head, but then a pulse, a pulse of energy and a pulse of shelling on the ground. This is not a good way to harvest dry, shelly corn. Also, when you chop in the front of the row unit like this, more of the plants will become detached and get away from the knife roller. When you chop here, you risk yield, you add trash. Let's look at their powertrain. The horsepower comes out of their main gearbox, comes into a separate gearbox, changes directions, comes down, changes directions, goes over, changes direction, and comes to the blade. Remember, every time you go through an angle gear, you reduce the efficiency of a system by 2%. So if there's two, three, four, five angle gears, you're looking at 10%, maybe 12% more horsepower to do the same job. This is the big difference between the Drago corn head and this corn head. When we look at the movement on the Drago chopper gearbox versus the knife roller, remember the timing, the precision of the mesh is perfect. Here you can see there's a lot of slop. All engineers know that when you have extra gear slop, especially in a new gearbox, the gears actually smash and clash into each other, which accelerates wear. This, this is not quality here. Part of the reason why is because this gearbox, it's not made by this company. It's made by another company, not Case New Holland. These gearboxes are simply bought off the shelf like a many other chopper corn heads in Europe and the components are put together. Again, Olamac builds their own gearboxes. They build them so precise that there's no meshing, no backlash settings, no shimming to get the gear mesh perfect. And if we look at the three principles on harvesting corn and chopping corn, you know, first, let's not risk yield. 
this risk yield. Let's not add trash. It definitely adds trash. It uses more horsepower than necessary. It does not accomplish any one of these three goals. Now, continuing on Case New Holland corn heads. This is the 3400. This model replaced the 2200. Why it was brought in was really to eliminate some of the problems with the 2200. What I want to do is go through in detail the difference on this head, of course, versus the Drago. Deck plates again, hydraulic deck plates. Operator must make the decision. Not like the Drago, where each row is doing hundreds, if not thousands, of decisions for you as you go across the field. We look at that deck plate, and it has the beveled edge again, which creates an opportunity for grain to leave the corn head. Why they're doing this, like other companies, is to create less trash going in the combine. They also have a channel here, a V cut here, again, allowing corn, shell corn, to spill into the row unit, into the knife roller, and onto the ground. As you can see here, you know, the adjustment, the hydraulic adjustment, very typical to other ones. There can be a lot of slop in their mechanism. They have a number of sloppy pivot points when they're brand new. Plus underneath on the bar that's moved by the hydraulic cylinder. But again, you can move from a narrow position to a wide position very quickly, allowing the ear to be exposed to a lot of shelling very quickly. Now, continuing with their gathering chain system, very basic, running a small chain, small idler, disposable idler with a very cheap bearing. We have metal chain guides instead of the poly chain guides in five locations like the Drago. You have the open pipe and spring again that is very old technology, allows dirt and debris to get into the spring. When that happens, you don't have proper chain tension. Their upper sprocket drive, very similar to the old John Deere where you have a base plate bearing with a bushing. Again, to get at that bushing, you must take the row unit off, disassemble the row unit. What we've seen with this design is actually some of the bolts on the knife rollers loosening up, creating a vibration effect that actually causes a problem back at the gearbox with the shaft. Yes, there's been updates to try to fix this problem, but it really shows a weakness in the design to start out with. With this corn head, there's been a lot of updates, changes to try to hold things together. The durability issues with some of the gearboxes is really because the gearbox is designed much off of like the old John Deere gearbox that is decades old that really can't hold up to the modern day genetics of GMO, BT corn. Tremendous strength in those corn stocks puts a lot of strain on a gearbox. I've talked to a lot of farmers that have run this corn head and this row unit, and they're very frustrated with the durability and the wear they see after only one year or two years. We know that Case is redesigning another corn head really as we speak because this corn head has just not done what they had hoped. Durability for Drago is extremely good. It's extremely important for return on investment, resale value. Grain savings, durability, this row unit does not offer that. There is going to be something different from Case New Holland. It's just how soon is it going to happen? That's my Drago.